Our next guest has been here before. She's a Grammy, Emmy, and Tony Award winning pop icon who sold over 50 million records worldwide. <laughs> Please welcome the one and only Cindy Lauper. Thank you, Cindy. Good. You look better. What do you mean? Well, no, what do you mean? You said I look good. I, you know, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What okay, do you mean? Whoa. What do you mean, what do you mean? <laughs> you know, when people say that, you're always like, well, what did I look bad last time I saw you or whatever? No, I, I think, you know, I'm, I'm feeling great. I you really look am. great. Thank you. Thank you. I got, I got my clothes on. Touch is sin, baby. Very nice. It is. It's touch is sin. <laughs> Very nice. I want to give you shoe cam if you put your feet on those feet okay. and look in the monitor so everyone can see the heel, like, like monitor. Okay. Okay, it's a mule. It's a mule. Mules are big for the season. Well, well. these are touch of sin mules and they have, um, they have cushion here, here, the and I made them wide. Uh -huh. And of course the sex is in the heel, baby, uh -huh, because uh -huh. That's what I was writing, so I figured I, I'd figure it out. I researched it first so I could make sure they were comfortable and Did sexy. you get them yourself or a stylist got them for you? Like no, no, I made them. They're my shoe line. Oh, you, oh! <laughs> Do you go up to a size 12? Or they 11? They go up, they go up, mm hmm And these are, um, you can touch get them, of HSN. Sin. Yeah, touch a sin. You're at -Y HSN too? I am. Me too! There you go. We're family. Here. What do you have? This is part of my jewelry. Oh. It's okay. Thank you. Yeah, he's going to freak. It, it, actually, it could go around. He told me I had to be careful for the mic. But so I I'm think I could wear this it. also at my waist. You like could wear jeans. it anyway. You could wrap it. I just, you know, for me, I love the It's from Lauper. Get out of here. it's different. Say, say nothing oh. more. Okay. It, it's from you. I, I treasure when people bring gifts. <laughs> So, Cindy, and by the way, I love the pink hair. Well, thank you. I understand you've been dyeing your hair since you were like uh, a single digit Cindy Lauper. You mean nine? N uh, yes. <laughs> Do you know the actual color? What color is your actual hair? No idea. <laughs> It's, a, it's some kind of brown thing, and by this time it's gotta be like some gray, but it's not really a gray. Like, if it was like white, then you can put like a purple rinse in it. It would be exciting. Do you do it yourself? Because I picture you for whatever reason I, yeah, being the, that yeah. old school no, girl. No, no, but, but I have someone who's doing my hair. But if you had to, yeah. You could do it yourself. Well, not as good, but yeah. What do you think about Gene Simmons? Were you listening to Hot Topics? Were you watching upstairs? He said that your 20s need to be for um, your career and women can't have it all. And I just don't, you know, there are parts of that that I totally co-sign with. I just don't want to hear it from a man. Well, you know what? I think men have to sacrifice a lot to when they choose a career, and they're not around either. But in this day and age, we all work. And you know what? I had a supportive, uh, my husband was always very supportive. 25 years, 25 26. years. 26. This year. Good for you. Uh, he's, he's pretty awesome. And he's the one who holds down the house. Cindy has one son, um, how do you say, Declan. Dex. Yeah. Yes. Dex. How, how is Dex about to be 20? Sunday. Yeah. Oh. And he's, um, he's, he, it's very, it's a very exciting time. He is in the music business too. A rapper. He, well, it's, you know, it's not like old school. It's like that flow stuff with pop. You know, you know, well, there is a difference. A, a flow. You know, you know, the, the, the kids are doing that flow thing. No. <laughs> I don't know what that, who, what artist, name an artist who's doing it so I, I can equate. Weekend? Okay. 
a flow with pop. Yeah. Got it. Um, so it's, you know, for me, I'm excited for him. He's talking to record companies. It's a very exciting time. So. It, is your influence uh, a part of him making it in? What do you mean? Um, well, you know, I'm trying to help him a little bit, but, you know, he's got to make his own music. He's got to, you know, we have a studio we share, and he's in there. You know, it's kind of like you're a mad scientist. Yeah. So he's in there on the computer. Does he live at home stuff. with you guys, or no. has he moved out? No. He's, he's so it's just in you and your husband? Yep, and my dog. And your dog. Uh-huh. Girls just want to have fun. Yeah. Now, I, Cindy Lauper, this song is about to be 35 years old. Mm. And it now seems to be an undercurrent of a feminist anthem. It always was. Always. <laughs> Thank you for that song. Such a happy song, but it's written happy. by a man. Nope. It was, of course, written by a man, but we... Not of course. Well, I it mean, wasn't like what it is. Okay, what he was, say? He's, no, there were some parts in it that I just edited out. And he wrote the hook, and then Ellie Greenwich came in and wrote, girls, they want, want to have fun. And, you know, she would tell me, go, you know, let's go sing in the stair stairwell, use your accent. And I'd be like, what accent? <laughs> 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 but it, it was it a little bit, just a slight bit more misogynistic then... It was just different story. If a man is saying that, yeah, it's different. Mm -hmm. But they kept saying, think about what it could mean. So when it came time to do the video, um, I put my mom in the video, and I tried to put as many different races of women that represent New York, because that's how we live uh -huh. together. Yep. And I... I was always watching MTV, honestly, Wendy, and, and it was either, you know, it was very segregated to me. And I just thought, you know, hell's bells, let's just mix it up. Yeah. And, and let's create like a little movement. Like Thank I want to be part of that club. And congratulations yeah. on your entire Broadway situation oh as God. well. But <laughs> yes. you know what you and I have in common other than we want to have fun? What? We both suffer from psoriasis. Yes. Oh, well, oh my gosh, I see you on the commercials. I'm like, that's my girl. Where's yours? What do you mean? Well, mine is lower leg. Uh, uh, you know, lower uh, plaque. Like I can peel the skin I off know, and drop it on the I floor. Know, it looks I like know. a crime scene on my side I of the know, bed. I know. Where's I know. yours? Mine was head to toe. I'm in the clear now. I, I have been flared. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so you partnered with Novartis. Well, I partnered with Novartis, and they brought me to the National Psoriasis Foundation where I spoke with other people who, mm -hmm. you know, the thing about psoriasis is I'm it's not a I rash. Don't, don't There's nothing. It. It's gone. I'm, it have not flared. I found, I found something that worked for me. The tricky thing is what works for me might not work for somebody else cause, because we're all different. Right. We get it differently. I had two different kinds. It started on my head, and I figured, okay, I get the shampoo, we're all good. Until it spread. Oh, uh, yeah. And, went, and it, for five years, I let it go, but it's an inflammatory thing. It's Very. not a rash. And it, I was covered, except for my face, head to toe, and it hurt. And one time, oh. in, I was working, and it moves. And so I was just clear in this one spot. And I figured, let me get a blouse that just shows this spot so I don't look like Mother Cabrini. Right. So, <laughs> you know, they, you know, she's a nun. None of this, none of that, you know. But, but it moves, and I'm glad that you shared your psoriasis story because I, too, suffer from psoriasis. Give it up for the legendary <laughs> Cindy Lauper, everybody. And for information on the See Me campaign, go to wendyshow.com.